Hi YouTube, it's Miss Black Pearl. Today is actually May the 5th, so I've shampooed my hair. I have a combination of black tea and herbal tea that I'm gonna do on my hair. This is the brand that I'm using. But not only did I decide to do my black tea rinse, I'm actually putting a little curveball to the method by putting in some herbal tea. This is the brand that I used. Now here's the deal, if you steep this, this one will turn red on you. But what I did was I steeped this one by itself and then I combined it to my already steeped black tea. And this is the color that is, it's just a regular black tea. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to apply my conditioner. This is what I choose to deep condition with today, guys. A lot of you guys know about the Cantu Shea Butter. I'm going to actually put this in my hair. And then once I do that, I'm gonna add a, a little bit of coconut oil. And when I'm done finishing up, and I'm going to just saran wrap my hair again, let it stay in my hair for an hour. Normally, I would do my black tea on dirty hair. But because I've been doing a lot of layers of the chi and the serums, I feel like th those are layers on my hair and my hair would not really be able to penetrate or receive this tea rinse. So what I did is I just washed my hair so that my hair can be clean. I cleaned my scalp really well. So I'm going to apply this to my hair and I'm going to show you guys the next step. I just took the towel off my hair. My hair is wet but it's not dripping wet, so it's at the point where I'm ready to deal with it. I do think I'm going to go ahead and apply my tea via a spray bottle. Use this spray bottle right here, and I chose this one because I can actually control the flow of how it actually comes out. And I'm gonna just pour this into the container. As you guys can see, that is black tea, it really is. But like I said, I did put a little bit of herbal tea in there that has a red color. So I really wanted to make sure that my tea appeared black and not have that reddish hue in my hair. My goal is to make sure that my scalp has this tea in my hair and then we're gonna go from there. As last time I did this tea rinse, I had a thermal cap and I would prefer a thermal cap. But keep in mind, you use what you have. What I'm gonna do first is start out, not with the, the, the midline stream, but just a more, a more spray. So what I'm gonna do now is go back into that midstream. See that? And I'm going to focus. This can get messy. And I do have a towel on for those of you guys who wonder. I'm going to take it midstream, meaning I'm focusing it directly to the scab right now. I'm doing this on purpose to make sure that I actually get this to the scab. So what I'm going to do is grab this section, twist it up. I'm going to come around. Okay. So the first section is done. So let's do the same thing here over here on this section. I'm going to adjust the nozzle to a more tolerable spray. If you guys can see that, that's more lighter spray. I'm just getting the whole length of my hair. You really want this to be focused to the scalp, but I want the whole length of my hair saturated with this. So I'm gonna take this, wrap it around. At this point, you do have a couple of options. A cap over your head, 
and walk around for a couple of hours or you can get up under your bonnet what I'm gonna go ahead and do is get under the bonnet for about 15 minutes so that I can speed this up because I want to put my conditioner on top of this and also walk around with it in my hair so that's what I'm gonna do and I will see you guys at that point see ya First, I'm just gonna lift this up as usual it gives the hair unbelievable softness guys I told you guys that I would be definitely conditioning my hair with this in normally you know most people would rinse it out I just think keeping this in my hair with the conditioner I think I'll get better benefits and again guys I am going to be applying my Cantu Shea Butter leave-in conditioner repair cream I just find that this does my hair really well Just know that I'm not limited to any particular product uh, when it comes down to deep conditioning or co-washing because I actually had in mind to use Nexus Ultimate Moisture Deep Conditioner, but I changed my mind because, you know, this has been working really wonderful for me and I just want to continue using this until it runs out. So that's what I mean by I don't have any particular product that I would use. So I have my coconut oil. It's kind of solidified, but I'm taking that now and running it over the sections of my hair. Okay, so I am now deep conditioning with the black tea still in place. So I like this. I will be co-washing my hair. So I will rinse this out maybe in about an hour or two, maybe three hours. I'll rinse it out, but I'm going to co-wash. I'm going to get out of the shower and just place my hair into uh, maybe four twists in these same sections, towel dry. I'm going to go back in with a CO method, LOC method, or or an LO method. The only thing I'm doing here is the black tea treatment to just kind of cut back on the shedding that I've been having. And I don't know if you guys can even see that, but yeah, there's a lot, there's some shedding going on. And for those of you who want to know, how do you know if you're having shedding? The hairs are usually long. They're the full length of your hair because it detaches from the, the roots and it has a bulb at the very end. So once you start seeing that shedding, and which is a normal process, ladies, this is not designed to stop shedding. You have to understand the life cycle of the hair. This is a process that must happen. Shedding has to happen. But when you start seeing excessive shedding due to stress, due to whatever is causing it, medications can cause it, um, then, then there's an issue. You could do stuff like this to kind of slow down that process. Hope you guys enjoy.